plugins was just released to all ChatGPT Plus users, and over the past days, I've tried all the plugins available on the plugin store. And in this video, I'm going to show you what plugins you should download right now to unlock all the power of ChatGPT. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, I'd like to thank Medium for supporting me as a content creator. Medium is a platform where you can find articles about Python, artificial intelligence, data science, and more. That's actually the place where I find the best articles about artificial intelligence. And you can get access to all the articles on Medium for $5 a month using the link in the description. All right, first we have to enable plugins. So the first thing we have to do is go to the lower left corner and click on the three dots. Then we have to click on settings. And if you're a ChatGPT Plus user, you should have these beta features available. So we click on it and then we turn on web browsing and plugins. Once we have these two enabled, we close this window and then we click on GPT-4. So to work with browsing or plugins, we have to use GPT-4 and then we click on plugins. So now plugins is enabled here and then we can choose here in the button that you see here below GPT-4, we have to click on it. In my case, I have already a plugin selected, but in your case, you're gonna see something like this, no plugins enabled. So you click on it, and then you have to click on plugin store. And here you can download any plugin you want. All right, let's start with the list of the best plugins in the plugin store. All right, the first plugin and probably my favorite plugin is Video Insight, this one. This is a plugin that helps us interact with online videos platforms like YouTube or Dailymotion. So if you're a YouTube user, probably you watch a lot of videos. And with this plugin, you can analyze videos and get insights from them quickly. So we have to turn on this plugin. And once this is turned on, you're gonna see that this icon is gonna be here. So the icon of video insights. Then we have to write the following prompt. In this case, I'm gonna tested with a video, one of my YouTube videos. This one is titled how I use ChatGPT to learn to code. And this is a nine minute video. So here I'm gonna write, summarize this YouTube video. This is the link of my video. And now I'm gonna press enter. And this is gonna be with GPT-4 and with this plugin, Video Insights. And something I like to tell you is that this plugin works fine with videos that are under 10 minutes. All right, ChatGPT just finished summarizing this video and we can see some key concepts. And besides the content of the videos or the recommendation I give to learn to code using ChatGPT, here we can see some data about the video that it was published on December 28th 2022, how many views and how many likes. And I can say that the summary is very good. I mean, I made a video and I know the whole content of the video and I know the key points and I can say that the summary that Video Insights created is very good. And something cool about this plugin is that it not only works with videos that are old. I mean, this was released uh, five months ago but it's not so old, but you can also try it with new videos. For example, here I have another video that was released just yesterday, one day ago, and here I can copy the link and I can summarize it. So here I have the link of this video. This video is about AI uh, regulations and I can do the same, summarize this YouTube video. All right, now we got the summary and it's pretty accurate. I watched the video and it talks about some regulations and something that is going on right now in the world of AI. And it's very good, the summary that it created. All right, now let's see the second plugin in this list. Okay, the second plugin I wanna show you is Link Reader. And Link Reader reads the content of all kinds of link. It can be a website with an article, a PDF, PPT, image, Word or other document. So I'm gonna turn on this plugin and we're gonna test it with this website. And in this website, we see an article that talks about prompt engineering jobs. And we're gonna summarize the content in this article using this plugin. So we're gonna type first, we're gonna copy the link and we're gonna tell this uh, plugin to summarize this article. So summarize this article like I'm five. I'm five years old. So I'm going to paste that link and then I'm gonna press enter. So we're gonna see now the summary that Link Reader is going to create. And something that I wanna tell you is that sometimes 
if the article is behind a paywall, it's not going to work. So you have to make sure that you can read the article for free if you want to summarize it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So we see now that the summary is pretty good. We see some key points about this job uh, prompt engineering jobs that pay up to $375,000. And well, it's pretty good. We see that we have some key points. We have the company that is paying this salary. And now let's test it now with a PDF. So here I have a paper and I have a paper that has five pages. And if you feel lazy to read all this paper or you want to create a summary with simple words, you can simply copy the link and then ask a summary. So you can say summarize this PDF and then you can paste the link. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't work, you can use another plugin that I'm going to show you later. And with the next plugin, the good thing is that you can upload the PDF so you don't have to rely on the link because sometimes it doesn't work if you only give the link. But in this case, it seems it's working fine. It's summarizing the content of this paper, which is artificial intelligence in medicine. So this is going to summarize all the content here, which is good because sometimes the abstract of the paper, it uses some complex words and sometimes it's not so easy to understand. But if you you tell ChatGPT to summarize the PDF like you are five years old, it's gonna use some simple words and you have you're gonna have a better understanding of what the paper is about. And just now it finished with the summary. So we can see all the summary, it worked just fine, but sometimes it doesn't work. And when it doesn't work, we have to use another plugin. And I'm gonna show you this right now, and this is gonna be the third plugin in this list. And this is called Ask Your PDF. And unlike the other plugin, Link Reader, Ask Your PDF gives you another option when the link doesn't work. So here I'm gonna turn it on, and now I'm gonna ask the same. I'm gonna uh, ask, summarize this PDF. So I'm gonna paste the link, and then I'm gonna press enter. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't work, you can upload this PDF file to the servers of this tool. And once this is uploaded, you're gonna get like an ID that you can paste to the conversation and get the summary. Okay, as we can see now, it didn't work. So I'm gonna write a prompt that says, I want to manually upload the document. And hopefully we're gonna see the button that allows us to upload the PDF to ask your PDF. And for some reason, I didn't get the button that allows me to upload the PDF. Maybe it's an issue that they are having today, but you should get something like this. So here we can see the upload your document button. In this case, I didn't have to ask anything. It automatically gave me the option to upload your document. And that happens when the first option, when the link provided doesn't work. As you can see, I can upload my document. I click here, then I only have to drop the file. I have the file here. I downloaded the file. It's gonna upload the file and they're gonna give you a doc ID, which you have to copy and then paste it here. So I have here, I uploaded my document and I pasted that doc ID. And then I asked to summarize this PDF and the PDF was summarize it just fine. And that's Ask Your PDF. Okay, now let's continue with the next plugin. And the next plugin is one of my favorites when it comes to learning another language. So if you're learning a foreign language like Spanish or any other language, you can use the plugin which is called Speak. And Speak is gonna help you learn how to say anything in another language. And this is different from Google Translator or just ChatGPT by default because it gives you a lot of examples, a lot of uh, context and many things that is useful when learning a foreign language. So I'm gonna turn on speak and then I'm gonna ask something very simple to see how this works. So I'm gonna ask, how do I say I like artificial intelligence in Spanish? So first, if we ask this to GPT 3.5, so chat GPT by default, we're gonna get a very simple answer, something very plain and something that is not so useful. And it's something like that translation that we get we got before. This is just that simple translation that we get with Google Translate. But if we go to GPT 4 and then turn on again, speak, 
we're going to get something very, very uh, interesting. So here I'm going to ask the same question and we're going to get a complete answer. So it's something like speak is your language tutor because it gives you some examples with some context and also gives you some alternatives to the translation. So it's not only one translation, but some alternatives on how to say the same phrase in a foreign language. So as you can see here, we can see that I like AI in Spanish is me gusta la IA, but we can see that there are other alternatives and we can see that there are other words that we can use. And in the end, we can see the words that we uh, we learned in context. All right, that's speak. And in this case, I use speak to learn Spanish, but you can use it also to learn other languages like German or Portuguese or any language you want. And now let's continue with the next plugin. So the next plugin is very good for those that like to try different AI tools and it's called there is an AI for that. So this plugin allows you to find the right AI tools for any use case. So this tool is like a database of AI tools where you can find any AI tool that you want. You only have to turn it on and then you have to specify what type of AI tool you're looking for. So in this case, I'm going to type something like this. Why AI tools I can use to automate web design. So I press enter and I don't know so much about web design, but now with this ChatGPT plugin, I can find a list of AI tools to recommend to my friend and to anybody. And just like this, you can look for any type of AI tool that you want. All right, the next plugin is called Wolfram. And this plugin allows us to compute expert level answers using its algorithms and AI technology. And this is usually used for math, but you can use not only to solve math operations like in a school or university, but you can use it for your everyday life. And I'm going to show you an example on how to do this. Okay, first I'm going to turn on this plugin Wolfram and then I'm going to type the following prompt. So in this prompt, I'm going to tell ChatGPT that I want to calculate a weight loss regimen. And for this, I'm going to give some information like my current weight, like 90 kilograms. This is just an example. Weight loss, 17 kilograms and the calories per day. In this case, 1500 calories per day. So with this information, we can calculate a weight loss regimen. So here I press enter. So as you can see here, now it's asking me for more information to have a more accurate calculation and it's asking me to provide my age, sex, height and activity level. So as you can see, this plugin is more complete than just using chat GPT by default. And in this case, I'm not going to provide this information. I'm going to leave this for later. And I want to show you another cool thing that this plugin can do. And this is plotting charts. By default, chat GPT is not able to plot charts, but with this plugin, you can do it. For example, I'm going to paste this prompt that says compare the population growth between the USA and Brazil from 1920 to 2020. And if I press enter, it should give me the chart of this uh, population growth. So as you can see, we have a comparison. We have some details about this comparison and we can also see the plot that Wolfram made. So this is very cool in case you like to see some visuals and not only text. And again, you cannot get this by default with ChatGPT, but you have to install this plugin. All right, now let's see the last plugin in this list. And this plugin is called Prompt Perfect. And just like the name says, this plugin allows us to optimize our prompt and get the best prompt possible. So I'm going to turn on this plugin. And right now, this plugin is not working as good as in the website. Well, this is the Prompt Perfect website. And for example, I'm going to use this prompt as an example. So this is the original prompt that says a female wizard confronting an evil dragon. This is a prompt for mid journey. You can also optimize your prompt for chat GPT, but I'm going to test this with this mid journey prompt. So I copy this prompt and now I'm going to say uh, optimize this mid journey prompt. So now we press enter and we should see the optimization. All right, now we have the prompt optimized. So we can see here the original prompt and now we can see here the 
prompt that was optimized. And probably if we copy and paste this prompt into Midjourney, we're going to get a better result. Here we can see the example of the original prompt and also the optimized prompt. And this is what you should get with the original prompt on the left and what you should get with the optimized prompt on the right. And you can see that it should have a better result with Midjourney. And that's it. Those are the ChatGPT plugins that you should download today. Let me know in the comment section if you have another ChatGPT plugin that I didn't include in this list and also tell me why that plugin is worth a try. And that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next video.